truth to it. It's just the, the delivery. You oh. standing. There's no denying that you're standing for and by your people. Well, here's the thing. Uh, when you're addressing evil, you can't worry about the delivery. When you're looking at the conditions of our community, you can't worry about the evil. When you got kids, they kill kids and say we smoking on Tuca. See, they wasn't worried about the delivery when these kids in Chicago were talking about smoking on Tuca. Mm -hmm. They weren't worried about the delivery. I ain't got no manners for no slut. I'm going to put my thumb in her butt. The delivery? I like girls kissing girls where I'm from. And that's on the radio. Girls on girls. That's, they, that's promote lesbianism to my daughter as we driving to school. This song they playing with Drake. Y'all worried about the delivery? These niggas talking about killing each other. And they really, that nigga thug said, nigga, I shot at your mama. You don't mention me no more. He really shot that nigga mama. And y'all worried about my delivery? These niggas are confessing to murders on songs. And y'all worried about my delivery? The conditions of black sucking them, talking about booty hole. Y'all worried about my delivery? Come on, don't be hypocrites, black people. Y'all can't listen to this music if y'all so caught up in my delivery. Don't do me like that. And the way y'all snap and pop y'all pussy to this music, the way y'all kill and drill to this music, don't trip about my delivery. Hey, yo, easy. Why you wear your pants like that? I wear my pants like that because that's easy access, baby. Easy. Why you talk like that? I talk like that to get my point across. Because when I wasn't talking like that, wearing a bow tie, y'all wasn't paying me no attention. And I was going to the Supreme Court changing laws and legislations in this country. I was working with over 50 U.S. congressional members from Ted Cruz to Mark Rubio, Senator John Cornyn. I was on the front page of the American Bar Association Journal. I had done a study with News 21, Walter Conkright School of Journalism. Y'all wasn't paying attention then. So, nigga, I gave y'all what y'all want. A ignorant motherfucking nigga that talk like them rappers. Now y'all listening. Now y'all paying attention, huh? I got y'all attention. Checkmate. Now let me tell y'all what y'all need to hear. We fucked up as a race of people since y'all so caught up into my delivery. 5% of children now are catching HIV from ages 13 to 21. What y'all worried about? 85% of the new chlamydia, all the new cases of teenagers. What y'all so caught up about? Nigga, only 35% of most kids in inner cities can read on or above their grade level. What the fuck are y'all talking about and these kids can't read? Come on, my nigga. So we gonna be real. Let's be real. Uh, I'm not bashing the black woman in her BBLs. I'm not bashing the, the black woman because she wearing eyelashes. I'm not fucking with the sister because she got too many baby daddies. I'm addressing men. Just like we abandoned no justice, no peace for George Floyd. Are we still mad about George Floyd? Are we still mad about police shooting? Is that why we not kneeling no more? Are we still boycotting the NFL? What happened to all these things? What happened? Nigga, because I'm still stuck on Tamir Rice while y'all stuck on my delivery. I'm still mad why ain't now motherfucker tore up the country behind Tamir Rice. Baby Tamir Rice at that. Since we so in tune. See this. See this is the thing, Charleston. Like I, I, I when you bring it up, does it truly matter about delivery or just perspective? We got to ask ourselves that question. Is Charleston White just a troll, or is he a troll with a message? I remember rappers back in the day would have to put out that one club song in order to get songs out there talking about items going on in the neighborhood. See, people don't realize if you actually listen to the music on some songs, it questions your whole ideology. I remember Nas being strictly against abortions. Little mama, don't abortion your womb. We need more warriors soon. That right now will be considered a Republican stance. I remember hearing people talk about immigration, crossing the borders, and everything like that, but it was all under the guise of being a fool. The question I have right now is, is Charleston White portraying a fool just to get his message across? 
We've we've seen for years people come like this. They fake claim to be well, claim to be smart, claim to be assisting, but at the same time, they're just trying to get money. But he does have points. What happened to those movements? Are we still protesting NFL? Are we still protesting about uh, Tamir Rice? Are we still upset about my man in Florida still walking around? Or is it just the messenger is not the messenger we want? Who do we want as a messenger? Do we want somebody to come here like the 60s? We had Malcolm and we had Martin. What side of the coin do you want to get? There is nobody out here leading Black America. There is not one leader. <laughs> think about that for a second. But all throughout history, every single race you think of at least had one leader at one point in time. One person they can all rally around. Right now we have a bunch of absentee fathers, which is true. We have a bunch of kids who would rather pretend to be from the hood to get street cred than to get book cred. Is this something we need to actually look into? My opinion of it, he was right. Nobody was looking for Charleston. He was walking around wearing a bow tie. When he was going around talking to Congress, chasing and changing laws. No one cared he would cover up magazines and law reviews. No one gave a damn about that. He was just another <laughs> person. But now, you acting like a person. Sound familiar? When, when your ideal of being yourself is not the idea of how they portray you. But then when you portray what they see you as to begin with, it's a problem with the people you're trying to help. But you have the same message. Same exact message. So I, I give them credit for that. I give Charleston credit for that. Message hasn't changed. We still got homeless people. We still have a big population of homeless uh, black military veterans disproportionately bigger than any other race. We still have the highest unemployment. We still have one of the highest illiteracy rates, basically. Now, we can call it systematic. We can call it traditional, historical. But one thing we got to do, we got to call this shit out and don't let the fool hide the message. The message is, we can do better. It's Coach Simmons. Good luck, man. I'm out.